hey guys um in today's video tutorial I'm going to talk to you I'm going to talk to you about um, well uh, I'm gonna go over you know basically angle JS mainly the validation aspect and how to do a uh, form validation and basically how to use how to use angle JS nicely with um, bootstrap so basically I have a little application basically our uh, very first thing I would like to do is I would like to um, I would like to show you the application that I have wrote recently okay of course I, read to, I have written this um, application using ASP.NBC but uh, I'm not really using that much of server side here. So server side, I will show you at the very end. The reason is because most of the time I have spent consider kind of large amount of time on making sure UI looks okay, you know, and all those things, and basically integrating the Angular JS and JavaScript and the and the HTML part. And the the the. I have just used, you know, the controller, the ASP.NBC controller, just to persist those uh, form data as submitted by the user. Okay, even before that, let me go ahead and, and, and show you the application, what this application does. So, um, this is a basically a form or a little application that allows uh, you know like uh, employer basically you know uh, employer to submit their job that's opening that their company has so <coughs> I have huge amount of field for example uh, what is the title of the job maybe perhaps senior software engineer or whatever and any description and then you know where the job is opening the country the location the state the job type whether it's a contract job full-time or, or part-time or whatever or the category of job and stuff and of course the what the reference person that job is posting all those information and then the start date when the job will be opening from the start date and the the salary how much this employer is offering how much are you offering for this position and stuff like that and the visa require like you know a lot of people especially in IT sector a lot of people apply from overseas but just to prevent those not really prevent, but we're saying whether you know we accept the visa, or we we provide the visa or not, those kind of information, and whether this job requires security clearance or not. What is the contact name when this is needed and telephone number, or application email, whether any direct email, or maybe. You can also provide your URL so that whenever it's submitted to um, that the job basically information directly goes into this their person's URL and stuff like that. It's a basic, you know, if you go to um, it's a similar kind of application that for example uh, all those job serve and all those a uh, company provides the, for the employer who can submit their job opening so that a lot of candidate can apply to it. That is the application. And this application I have written using uh, AngularJS and all this validation, as you, can, as you can see right here, everything is done from using Bootstrap and AngularJS behind the scene, and um, and all the binding. You know, like I have huge amount. Of, I have to do a binding all the countries in my drop-down list and uh, all the state and the different kind of job type and the duration that they would like to. All those things binding all everything is done by the angle js behind the scene okay that is what i would like to talk about today okay so let me show you what this uh, application does so let me start here right now um let's say you come in here and you start filling up your information you know um let's say it's um, JavaScript developer, maybe senior, senior JavaScript developer. That's the position I'm trying to hire. Okay, but see this one right here. As soon as um, you fill this one in, basically system knows all the required field. Basically, 
from giving the hint to the user all the required field. Maybe here is a description. Maybe it might be you need to have this, this many years of experience or whatever. You know, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> and as soon as it's focused out, this is really cool because initially we had 12 errors. Well, we had 12 fields and all of them were required and now two is already filled in. And since now it automatically it knows that we just have 11 remaining field that needs to be filled in. If I fill in the country, let's say um, USA, of course, um, United States, now <coughs> that value doesn't kick in. The location is required, let's say um, Charleston. <coughs> now, as you, as you can see, we just have nine. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Charleston, maybe let's say West Virginia. That's where it goes. And job type might be if it's full time job. So okay. And uh, this duration is important to for me for my website. In this case, let's say I'm these seven days, 15 days, and 30 days, is like how long you, this employer, would like to, you know, uh, post the job to my website, maybe 15 days. And the categories that I'm, I'm looking for, is a, it's a government job. So, reference would be, let's say, John Doe. <coughs> and in this form, it is AngularJS, but I'm using, I'm integrating, um, this is a jQuery UI, right? So this jQuery UI is not used as a, as how we generally, you know, in most of the website they have jQuery and jQuery UI, but it is used as a directive, Angular JS directive. So I will show you how to, I will show you the code how to that integrations, and the rate of the salary maybe I would, one hundred thousand dollar. That's ten thousand. Okay, and the visa required, applicant requiring a visa work. Hmm. Must be able to work in this specified location. Okay, and this requires security clearance because this is government job. Maybe you can contact John and then email uh, 988-09-09 and whatever, you know. And this John. the URL let's say um, my app okay job industry is required okay because I, I forgot to you know fill in that field so it is telling you hey there is one field that is not filled in yet and it knows please fix one error some below and submit your job detail if I submit this one it will say the same thing the submission doesn't happen because I have not specified the industry that I, this industry, let's say, uh, defense, military, military, and armed forces, because I said no, it requires security clearance. So, okay, once all the information is filled in, the validation error is all gone. You know, my ultimate goal is, of course, you know, I don't have uh, email validation yet. Uh, that's my next goal. I will have my email validation, and then of course you know this this date validation, and this uh, rate salary validation. I will have this regular expression validation here using Angular JS, and most of them has you know required field validation. So um, so if once uh, now I'm ready to submit, but um, let me show you what really happens behind the scene. The server side is it's not that much of code, you know. I just use the model first design. Um, uh, I have a little um, the controller called job details controller, and then there uh, th I have this action method here called post job details. This job detail basically is just a JavaScript object. Uh, well, this is job detail is my you know server side. Uh, the Poco object and 
now uh, if I do submit here it should come into that breakpoint 